Hey guys, so today I will walk you through the process of turning my gouache artwork into an augmented reality experience using Adobe Arrow. Let's get started. So the first stage, of course, is to create this artwork. The media is a uh, gouache, and the artwork is about two cats playing a magical mushroom forest. In the second stage, I scanned and digitized my artwork and then added animation using Adobe After Effects. There's, of course, lots of uh, uh, trial and error in this stage. As you can see, I was trying to use a turbulent effect, but the uh, leaves turned out to be quite funky. So instead, I used Puppy Paint Tool to animate the leaves, cats, and the mushrooms. I also collaborated with my partner who is a music composer and sound designer. He worked on making the sound and ambience for this scene. Here is the finished animation. In stage 2, I used Adobe Arrow to create the AR experience. So I started by creating several different layers of the artwork, such as small mushroom, big mushroom, cats, and the grass. And then I exported them individually into a PNG file. And then compressed them into individual zip file folders. For Adobe Arrow, I used the desktop version to add behavior and create experience, and then I used mobile app to preview and record. I started by importing the different layers of assets into Arrow, and then you can drag the assets around and change the position, size, and rotate it as well. You can also spin it around to just check the proportion and layers are correct. And also make sure to go to the preview section to check how everything looks. For editing behavior, go back to edit and click on the running man icon at the bottom and then click on trigger to add various behaviors and triggers. The first trigger I use is proximity. And then for behavior, I choose play images because it's a ping file. And then I added another behavior, which is to play the audio of the night ambience. And then I added the same setting for the small mushrooms. For both grass and the mushroom animation, I have to make sure the speed is maximum so that it is more clear to the viewers the grass is moving. And then I set it to be infinite playing. Once the viewers spot the cats in the far back, they are able to tap the cats on the screen and start to have some fun interaction with the cats. <laughs> 